I'm now going to show you how to record supplier invoices on QuickBooks Online. In the previous video, we added a supplier, example supplier one limited. Let's now record an invoice from this supplier. There are a few ways to do this. I'll show you a couple of ways. Example supplier one limited. If we scroll to the right of their name, there is a create bill option here. If that's not showing, just simply click on the drop down arrow here and select create bill. If I click on create bill, I'm taken to the create bill screen. This is where we record the details of the supplier's invoice. Alternatively, if we click on the supplier's name, we are taken to the supplier's account and there'll be more about this in a later video. At the top right here, new transaction, click on bill. Once again, we're taken to the create bill screen. It's an identical screen. It does exactly the same thing, no matter which way you choose to access it. We have the supplier's name up here. If we want to change the supplier, just click on the drop down list and choose from your supplier's list. If your supplier isn't showing, then they need adding to QuickBooks Online, as mentioned in the previous video and demonstrated in the previous video. The mailing address here, including the name, is all taken from the supplier's record. We can change this if we like, but whatever we've put on the supply record is going to show here. We have payment terms, the terms, the credit terms on the invoice. Select the relevant terms. If the relevant terms aren't showing, you can simply just add new terms by clicking here. Whatever you add will then show in this list going forward. Let's just say it's 30 days, so net 30. Enter the bill date, so that's the invoice date. Let's say this is the 3rd of May. The due date is calculated automatically by the bill date and the payment terms. So if this was 15 days, the due date would change 15 days from the bill date. If I click on 30, it's now 30 days from the bill date. The bill number is the invoice number, so that will show on the invoice. Everything you need on this screen will show on the invoice. You're simply just replicating the data, the information from the invoice onto QuickBooks Online. So the top half of this bill is recorded. We just need to do the bottom half now. We have category, description, and amount. Category is the nominal account. It's the account that this expense is going to be posted to. This was all covered in a previous video. So we have codes for and accounts for bank charges, credit card charges, equipment, entertaining, interest paid, motor insurance, the list goes on and on. If your expense doesn't show it simply needs adding to quickbooks online which was covered at the beginning of this course let's just say that this supplies invoice is for legal and professional fees you can put in the description usually the description is on the invoice but you can summarize or create your own description and the amount of the invoice. So this was for a thousand pounds, a thousand euros, thousand dollars. You put in a thousand. Once we're happy, we can click save and close. This information will then be stored on QuickBooks. An invoice will be recorded for this date with this payment terms, with this due date, with this reference number against legal and professional fees. We have a description of this for a thousand pounds. If I click save and close, the invoice is then added to QuickBooks Online and is showing on the supplier's account down here. You can see we have our invoice with the reference, the category and the amount. So all you do is go to new transaction, click on bill and enter the boxes, fill in the information the invoice will then be on QuickBooks Online. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to record payments that we've made to suppliers.